Hey, what's good, everyone? Local Iceman here. Today's video, I'm talking about the different type of gold frames we have here at our rink. We have a small size and a standard size gold frame, but even within the standard size, we have three different variations of gold frames because throughout the years, they've made changes to the frames based on demands by the NHL. So I'm gonna talk about why they make those changes and why they make it so hard to get these nets on and off the ice. Right here you go, here's a small frame compared to these standard frames. This frame right here, is four feet wide by three feet tall it's just a smaller version of the bigger frame nothing too special you don't have to worry about the bar right here because these things you can just pick up and carry two at a time not terribly difficult to move around but i just wanted to show you the small frame versus a standard frame so let me go ahead and move this thing out of the way and we'll take a look at these ones right here now all of these are official hockey frames i don't want to say nhl frames because only one of these frames is an official nhl frame but all these frames right here are a standard six feet across the top and four feet off the bottom so that's six feet for the crossbar and the post is four feet off the ground and that's basically for you guys who don't know the difference between the post and the crossbar because i had someone ask this question one time and the posts are just the posts from the ground and the crossbar is the one that crossed the top. I don't know, I feel kind of dumb explaining that now. But anyway, these are all official nets, but the only difference between the official NHL net and the standard net is the depth between the post and the back of the net. Between for this frame right here and the second frame right there, from the, the front post here to the back of the net is 44 inches. Now a number of years ago they made a change and that's this net right over here. This is an official NHL net. This net right here is still the same four by six, but from the post right here to the back of the frame is now 40 inches. So what they did is they cut you know, four inches off the back of the frame to allow more play behind the net. So that's, I think that's a good thing. That's pretty cool. But the main difference between all three of these nets and Pretty much the one reason why I'm making this video, other than just kind of showing you the different types of nets, is that this net right here doesn't have a crossbar, but this net right here has this little crossbar thing. And, and crossbar is probably a bad term. It's just a supporting bar. So I guess these, this net right here and this net right here are similar that they don't have this crossbar right here or the supporting bar. Now. This was taken out probably 10 so years ago, maybe more. And when I talking to the guy at Becker Arena, ordering some uh, nets a number of years ago, I'm kind of like, why did they get rid of this bar right here? I mean, it's why did they do that? And he basically said, you know, they got so many guys who complain about this, but the main reason why this bar is not here anymore, and if you can't, you haven't guessed it already, it's because the camera is in the beams looking down. So they need a clear view of the goal line and perhaps with uh, better technology now, they could probably put a camera right here, but at least 10, 12 years ago when they removed this bar right here, it's because the camera's in the rafters. But you know what? It makes it so hard to move these nets and that's kind of like what I'm getting at right here. Back here, we could use a net dolly, but we store most of our nets outside on either side of the ZAM door. So we have to lift them on and off the ice huge pain in the butt hopefully i could change that soon by getting a net dolly and perhaps storing the nets back here uh, typically you like storing the nets inside the rink where they keep the same temperature that the, the metal here doesn't heat up or warm up and when you put them on the ice they melt in the ice so during the winter time not a big difference because it's pretty cool back here but in the winter time it's or in the summertime it's kind of nice to keep them out there but anyway so to move this nut right here, this thing is really nice to move. You get up under here, you put your shoulder right there, and you, you can move this nut liquidly split. But this nut over here and this nut right here is very difficult to move because you don't have this crossbar anymore. And we always joke about, and I think I tried once by putting a metal bar across and moving it and stuff. It's just not the same. It moves around and stuff. And this nut right here is even a bigger pain in the ass to move, at least without a cart. But this nut right here, because how it's designed, it's kind of tippy. So when you go to lift it up, the whole thing just kind of wants to go like this. So it's very difficult to get up on your shoulder. And you're an old man like me now, after a back surgery a couple years ago, 
many years of high jumping and track and field, you know, my back is not as w what it used to be. So uh, to get this net right here, I kind of have to move it. I kind of grab it by the netting and kind of pull it when I've got it on my shoulder. That way I can kind of keep it from tipping and stuff. Same thing with this one right here. I get my shoulder into this into this metal right there, the back post right there, and grab the netting with my kind of hand there to kind of help kind of help lift it right there. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that they that they uh, let me get this thing back up here. Right, there we go. It's kind of unfortunate that they did make the change. Kind of not a huge deal, I guess, if you're a rink that can afford a big cart and stuff. And there's different type of carts. Perhaps I do a separate video on that can't speak to it too much because we don't have one I actually made one out of old Zamboni towel rack and a dolly but when we sold that old machine I kind of had to give the rack back but anyway this is the difference between the standard full-size nets now this one right here is 40 inch deep from the post to the back of the net these ones are your standard 44 inches and 44 inches just the main difference is, is the bar is no longer here which makes it very difficult to move that's why it's definitely a huge bonus when people move the nets for us so we don't have to lug these things on and off the ice. We definitely appreciate it. All right, talking gold frames, now we gotta talk gold pegs. These are two different style gold pegs that we have here. We don't have the marsh style gold pegs that you see in an NHL or on TV. These pegs that go into the concrete, through the ice, into the post. Those are totally cool, but those holes in the concrete need to be installed while they're pouring the concrete. We don't have those here. To do them after the fact i know it can be done but it's super expensive and a super pain in the ass so that's not something that we're going to do here so we rely on these freezing gold pegs and technically i think these ones would be the freezing pegs because as you know metal freezes the ice so this again slips where the gold post would be and it keeps the gold frame from moving around pretty cool but over the years this thing gets kind of wearing out and you don't bite the ice as much and when people were complaining about it we got these things right here these things are actually twice as expensive as these things right here. I believe like 60 bucks each maybe for these things, but these things are about $120 each. But they're super nice, and to have these track looking spikes on them really prevents the goal from moving around. There is a practice version of this one where there's just a little rubber lip that goes halfway around to protect the goalie skates from dinging the, or protect the, the post from dinging the goalie skates up. So that's kind of cool to have. One of the junior goalies has them. But for here, we just kind of use these things for games only. These ones are for practices and drop-in. I guess for certain practices, if they want this, I guess they could use them. But we typically don't let people use these ones for practice. I mean, nothing much more to it. They're gold pegs. Nothing too stylish or too fancy about them. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. And like the local ice man says, stay cool.